You have to read other sorts of papers that are a bit outside your area, because sometimes you'll link something. Um, if you just read the papers that are in your area, everybody's often thinking the same thing. If you read a paper over here, then sometimes you look upon the problem differently. So don't work all the time. Have a rest. Go for a walk. Go, you know, go to Beijing or something and um, have some time off and then let it come back. Read other things outside your immediate area. See if that stimulates. And always think, is there another way of thinking about this problem? And that's really where creativity is coming from. Now, we could talk about... Um, other aspects of creativity, because it's really interesting, I think. I mean, like, um, creativity is often at the edges of things. I mean, often between boundaries between um, disciplines or subject areas, um, it's putting things together that you don't often put together. There's a relationship, in my view, between creativity and humour. You know, humour is often based on putting two ideas together that you never thought of bef uh, before, and then it becomes funny. Um, Arthur Kersler wrote a book called The Act of Creation and linked um, creativity with, um, with humour. And um, I, I found very creative people are often really funny too. And the classic case is Sidney Brenner, of course, who's very witty um, uh, because he puts things together in an in in interesting way. So if you want to be creative, exploring the edges, exploring putting things together is another, another thing that's, that's, that's important.